Remember the Wizard of Oz and the ruby slippers? Actually, in the book, they were silver slippers, but they made them ruby for Technicolor. Who wore those ruby slippers? Dorothy. And where was Dorothy from? Kansas. The University of Kansas has done a study with students and found out that people can figure out a lot of things about you, your political disposition, your income, even your temperament, all because of your shoes. Okay, not surprisingly, if you're a nice person, you tend to wear practical, conventional, and comfortable shoes. If you wear flashy shoes, you're probably an extrovert. If you wear shoes that are kind of scuffed up, you may be a really stable person. Ditto with uncomfortable shoes. Maybe you're so comfortable with yourself, you don't care whether you're in pain or not. Now, there was no research about cowboy boots, so I don't know in what category you would put that, but maybe you, as a listener and a viewer, can tell us what you think about cowboy boots. And uh, as for ankle boots, overly aggressive people wear ankle boots. Look at your feet right now. Is that you? Now these, I am told, are original Air Jordans from 1985. Okay, but they're no Manolo Blahniks. Now these are not the official shoes of the LAPD. They're Chuck Taylor Converse. I gather they're kind of classic and they are the sort of, I guess, sneakerish version of the standard wingtip or spectator. Doc Martens, who doesn't, who shouldn't have a pair of Doc Martens? These are guys' shoes, they're brown. My Doc Martens are purple. And the shoe that put Woodstock on the map, or vice versa, the Birkenstock. I'm told that no self-respecting deadhead would be caught dead without Birkenstocks. I once asked Tim Gunn of Project Runway what article of clothing he hates the most. Crocs. He says they look like hooves. And how can you forget Fry's, the oldest continually produced shoe in America? It was since the Civil War, and some of the ones that the guys wear around here look like they were in the Civil War. Years ago, when I had read that some snooty French fashion maven had declared that green shoes are vulgar, I made it my mission in life to acquire as many pairs of green shoes as possible. And what does that say about me?